So when I was younger, people always used to say, Sayang, hindi mo kang French. And, you know, of course I'd be upset because they're denying me a part of my identity. The underlying message there was, you would look better if you looked more French. You would look more beautiful if you looked more French. That hurt. And so coming into this pageant, I knew that it would be challenging because I'm going against the conventional definition of beauty. I was right. I came here and since joining, I've gotten so many comments. People saying that I should get a nose job, um, that they can't listen to me speak. You need the contour on your nose, that I should, you know, wear eyelid tape use makeup that makes my eyes look bigger and I was too strong that I was too masculine that I was impressive but not a beauty queen and this tells me that there's something fundamentally wrong in how we conceptualize what it means to be a woman because why can't we be powerful and beautiful why can't we be strong and beautiful all of these things that people are saying they're telling me that I need to be something that I'm not, and I refuse. It's been challenging to some extent, but I know where I stand and I know my values. To me, it's really important that we celebrate who we are, that we celebrate our authentic features, this new idea of what it means to be beautiful. It's not just about pursuing a dream. It's not just about representing my country. It really is about challenging an entire system of power that tells us that we are not beautiful enough, that our stories are not important enough. And if you're looking for the most conventionally pretty person, then <laughs> I am not your Miss Universe. You're looking for a woman who's going to fight, who's going to use her voice with so much power, so much courage that it hurts.